Okay, uh, today we're going to cover a bit of knee pain. Okay, it's a big topic, and this is not the be all and end all. Okay, but it's just some practical tools that you can use when someone comes into you and says, My knee's hurting, what do you do? Yeah, okay, so unless someone's been traumatized directly, kicked on the knee, sports injury, very often knee pain, the knee is not the problem. This just happens to be the victim. Okay, the knee has got two neighbors. Okay, this comes from Gray Cook. Okay. The hip is one neighbor, and the ankle is another neighbor. Very often they're bad neighbors. Okay. Um, the ankle is a very mobile joint, it should be. Pronation, supination, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, and combinations of all. Okay. If the ankle is stiff, all right, the knee which can extend and flex, and it can rotate internally and externally a little bit. It doesn't like to. It's actually a stable joint. If the ankle's tight, the knee will try and make up for the deficit or the lack of movement in the ankle. Okay, so we check the ankle for flexibility and mobility. Right. Second neighbor is the hip. Right. The hip controls the femur. Right. When you walk, the femur and the tibia should centrate to form the knee joint. If you get lack of control and the femur rotates internally all the time, you will get a painful knee. Okay? And there's no such thing as a patella that tracks. There's not. Okay? There is such a thing as a femur or the tibia that rotates underneath and actually grinds underneath the kneecap. It's painful. Okay, so you need to stop that movement. You also need to know how to look for it. So, ankle needs to be mobile, flexible. Hip needs to be strong enough to control the femur, the rotation of the femur. It also needs to be flexible. Okay, so we're going to test the ankle and the hip. First thing to do to test the ankle, I'm going to ask Lydia to do a deep squat. So, feet straight ahead, yeah, go down, and squat. And we watch the feet. Very good. Do that again. Excellent. Okay. So all we're looking for here, does Lydia do this? Because pronation is very often trying to make up for lack of dorsiflexion. If you can't do that, you'll do that. She doesn't. Great. Okay. What else are we looking for? This. If you don't have enough length, the back of your calf, your gastrox, your soleus, yeah, you will go up on your toes. She does neither. I'm happy with her ankles. Okay. Going up now, we're going to check the stability of the hip. Okay, this is quite fun. Simple test. Right, Lydia, feet together please. You can still face the camera. Yeah. Right. Feet totally together. All I want you to do is lift up your right knee. And relax. Feet together. Lift up your left knee. And relax. Okay. Lift up your right knee. Close your eyes. Okay. Alright. Feet together. Lift up your left knee. Close your eyes. Okay, well then. Alright. So, all we're checking here, this is reflexive stability. It's not really strength, yeah? But it's can your hip react in time when your foot sends a message to your brain saying, I'm falling this way? Can your hip stop you falling? In Lydia's case, she's a little bit shaky. So, we start to think of stability, okay? As far as flexibility goes, if someone can do a deep squat, they've got pretty good hips. She can do a deep squat. That's pretty much my flexibility for the hips tested, done and dusted. So I'm dealing with a stability issue now. Right. I can break this down a little bit further. Lydia, can you actually lie on the floor? In the back, please. Okay, arms across your chest. Bend your knees for me. Okay, so the heels are in line with the sit bones. 
Okay, great. Hips up. Okay. Can you touch my finger with your left knee? And relax. Can you touch my finger with your right knee? Right, relax. So, both sides, Lydia is a little bit shaky. When she stabilizes on her left, lift up, touch my finger. Right, when she stabilizes with her left, her pelvis does this. Okay, that's instability. And relax. Fine. So, the test can become the treatment. This can become an exercise. Okay, but I need to make it a bit easier. Otherwise, if you don't make it easy enough, people just compensate and they cheat. It's not good. All right. So you're going to push down into the floor, lift your hips up. Keep your pelvis still. All right. Touch my hand. Much better. Relax. Touch my hand. And relax. Relax. Okay. So let people take breaks. It's no use exhausting your nervous system. Okay. And here we are teaching hip stabilization. But we need to progress. A baby moves from its back to kneeling. So let's do that. Alright, I'm going to give you a pillow for your knee. And if you can face the camera, please. Okay, so the toes are up from the foot behind. Okay, and you make it easy for people. The foot starts outside of the knee. Okay, great. And I want everything straight. Fantastic. Okay. Right, hands on top of your head. Can you turn on your hip? Here we go. Stay there. So all I'm doing here, touch people over here. This is what you're trying to work are the hip stabilizers. Okay? Very often you tap and it's soft. They don't know how to turn it on. Okay? You need to fire the hip stabilizers. Okay. Make it more difficult. Bring your foot closer towards the line that your knee is in. Very good. Good posture. Great. Turn your bum on. Got to keep on telling him. Turn on the bum. Very good. Right. If people are wobbling a little bit, that's good. Right. This is as far as I'm going to take Lydia today. Until eventually, she can put her foot right in front of her knee. Very narrow base. Not easy. Turn your bum on. Excellent. Okay. Enough. <laughs> Alright, so this is a progression. Okay. We can progress this further. Lydia, can you stand for me, please? Okay. What couldn't she do in the beginning? She couldn't lunge, yeah? Keeping her knee in a straight line. Okay, so what I'd like you to do. Go into a lunge position, put one foot down. Okay. This foot straight. Straight. Okay. Bend your knee. Bend this knee as well. Stay there. Put your hands on top of your head. Don't let your knee go in. And straighten again. Very good. And bend. Excellent. And straighten. Good. And bend. See, her femur is not doing this. Okay, that's all. She's turning on the muscles that control the femoral rotation. Okay. And just for a little bit of fun, go into one leg. Foot behind. So this is the ultimate progression. Foot behind. Okay. Foot straight. All right. Keep an arch. Okay. Bend over. Wiggle your wings. There's all sorts of stabilization going on inside you. You don't have to give lots of instructions. Well done. And relax. Okay, guys. So, that was quite brief. Check for ankle flexibility. If the ankle's stiff, the knee's going to be working overtime. Work on ankle flexibility. All right. Work on hip stability. If the hip's weak, the femur's going to be rotating internally all the time. Fix that, okay? And if there are any mobility issues, you guys are all time therapists, lots of techniques to loosen up the hips, okay? 